Hi, this guide is going to cover um, viewing our data and creating dashboards. So we're now logging our data to feeds here. I'm actually logged into um, E1 CMS rather than the E1Py directly, just for the reason that uh, I've been logged into this account on E1 CMS for a while now. So it just gives us a bit more data um, to look at. Um, so I've got data coming from my E1TX, which is node 10 and also from the E1Py. If I wanted to, I can uh, rename this to give it a more interesting name, um, like uh, which might represent where the unit is installed, or change the name of the feed here. And to, to view the feed, we just hit the little view icon here. Now oh, let's view one which has got, actually got some, got, got some data in that might help. Um, here we go, power one. So this is a week's worth of uh, power data for my house. So we can uh, zoom right in, zoom right in by creating boxes. So overnight, fridge freezer going on and off. You can move around. And that was a shower. Um, just over eight kilowatts there. With what looks like a, maybe a kettle being turned on at the same time. So that's uh, viewing the raw data. So if you, um, in Viz here, we can choose other types of graphs to view our data. Um, another simple one is bar graph, where if we choose um, kilowatt hours per day, which is the instantaneous power value converted to daily uh, energy consumption, we can see how much energy I use um, day by day here. So there's, there's two types of dashboards on Neumann CMS. The first type is um, our sort of older um, dashboards that we developed for Neumann CMS. This is a real flexible type of dashboard that allows you to go in and just create a dashboard quickly. Um, we can then give it a name and everything here. Um, be very customizable about it. Totally create your own dashboards. So if we wanted some uh, raw data, can make a graph, um, select select the feed, there we go, um, if we want it real time, configure, power one, there we go, that's minute by minute my power values, what else should we put on here, there's all sorts of things we can do. Um, Let's have a bar graph configure kilowatts per day. So you can see here, it's a very powerful way to create dashboards. Um, super flexible. Make your own dashboards for whatever you like. Um, add some text in here called my dash. And once we're done, hit save, and then we can view the dashboard. And we're logged into one CMS at the moment. If we wanted to, we could share this dashboard um, publicly by going to share here. Um, we better give it a name, call it dash. And then if we publish it, make it public, we can now view it by browsing to emoncms.org forward slash our username and then forward slash dash and you don't need to be logged in to view that. One important thing to note is if you make a dashboard public, you also have to make the feeds public by um, on the feed page just clicking on the public column until you see a little world that means the feeds are public. All my feeds are, are public um, just because I've been using them to view dashboards. That's the dashboard we created. And again, you can still um, zoom in and out of your data on the dashboard. So these dashboards are great, they're super flexible, but it's difficult to make a dashboard that looks really nice on a mobile device um, using, this, using this method. That is why we've developed a new range of dashboards which come under apps. These dashboards lose some of the flexibility of these uh, totally custom dashboards, but do allow, um, do result in better looking dashboards. 
So here's one called My Electric. So if we set that power value, kilowatts per day, um, we now get a real scalable dashboard. And this dashboard looks great on a uh, on a mobile device or tablet. I've got a slight error on my feeds here, which is uh, causing the user today to show to show zero. Um, but uh, that's just my account here. I've got some old um, data I need to clear out. Um, another one is solar dashboard. I haven't got any solar generation, so I'm not able to show you this dashboard very well. But if I did, I can enter in the feed ID, which is this ID here. I'll, I'll do that with my power one. There we go, that's my consumption. If I, had a, if I had a solar feed, I can enter the feed ID into there. And I'll then get a nice overlaid VON of solar showing how much I was importing or exporting. Um, these are still under development, um, but do look a lot, lot nicer on mobile devices. And we see um, here, if you look in the URL address bar, which is not shown on the video, but actually includes your API keys, so all you need to do to view this dashboard is just bookmark this API key or send it to your mobile device, and you can then um, view it um, view it easily when you're out when you're out and about. And it gives some some stats of how much you've got from your solar or home generation. There's also some dashboards for heat pumps and uh, my solar and wind. This actually gets data from the uh, wind wind generation and tries to overlay it um, with your uh, consumption data. I'll let Tristan run, run you through this dashboard um, and the thinking behind this at a later date. Um, but it's a cool thing to have a play around with. And uh, maybe if you haven't got any local um, generation yourself, you can still try to match your consumption to your share of um, um, country-wide or local um, renewable generation. So that's a brief overview of uh, Emon CMS dashboards. There's way, way more to cover. Um, but uh, that's just without getting bogged, bogged down um, and going on for too long. So at least now we can um, we can make a basic dashboard, share this dashboard, view a basic home energy display, and so so we're getting there.